Let's shift gears uh, to WikiLeaks. I I'm sure you've heard uh, there's this guy. He put a bunch of stuff on the Internet, uh, a lot of it uh, embarrassing for the United States of America. I know the Department of Justice is apparently trying to figure out how to prosecute this guy, and it I it's a little tricky because of all sorts of reasons. But why haven't we heard from the president on this yet? Well, uh, the, the president, uh, through the secretary of state and through uh, many of the people that work here, have spoken, uh, no, I, know, I think, pretty clearly on, on how they are upset on uh, the fact that uh, hundreds of thousands of documents, many highly classified, uh, have been leaked. Uh, just as we uh, saw earlier in the year, uh, battlefield reports from the previous administration leaked. Uh, none of that helps right. our national security. Uh, we have... Uh, interest as the as as the American people and the the world has a great interest in the United States of America uh, forcefully pursuing uh, a foreign policy that keeps the world safe right. that reduces the Mr. threat Gibbs. to nuclear weapons. Mr. Gibbs, this yes. is this is by many accounts the largest security breach in American history, and the president of the United States has well, been very very busy. The president of the United States has been very busy doing other things, talking about the federal pay freeze, talking about taxes, and not one statement about this well that, that's uh, again uh, the secretary of state works for the president of the united states i, I think that that's pretty clear uh, where he stands on this uh, understand that right. the president has uh, as you mentioned uh, lots of responsibilities and hats let's make sure this right. economy is strong and growing let's make sure our country is safe and secure uh, look our foreign policy and our country is stronger than one guy with one website True. we should not and and we should never be afraid of one guy who popped down $35 and bought a web right. address. Our foreign policy is stronger than gotcha. that. We're a stronger country but than it's that. True, but it's We're endless, not scared right. of one guy with one no, keyboard no one's and a laptop. Scared, but it's sure endless embarrassment and things have been compromised. Let me ask you this. Has the attorney general let the president down by waiting to the fall and not going after this guy in the summer when he had his first major document dump? What was the major wait for investigation on espionage charges? Look, look, guys, uh, there's an ongoing criminal investigation, uh, and because of that, I'm certainly not going to get into the specifics of this. Uh, understand that uh, we've got to look at a whole host of things, including uh, how somebody can put a thumb drive in a computer and copy documents sure. and ultimately leak them to this website or to anybody. Right. That, that's not helpful to our national security. But again, guys, let's okay. not be scared of one guy with a laptop. No yeah. one's We're scared. Not, we well, see we the facts be. and we see the damage. Uh, that's all. But, 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 but. But let's not be scared of that. Okay. Uh, this isn't uh, this isn't something that uh, that we have to shy away from. Uh, we're the Amer we're the United States of America. We have a robust foreign policy that pursues our national interests and ensures the safety and security of those uh, around the world. That's something that this administration and pre uh, uh, administrations in the future, mm -hmm. regardless of what one guy with a website or what somebody does in leaking highly classified information, okay. those people are criminals and they'll be punished as such. All right. But Let's not be afraid that we're the United States of America. Uh, Barack Obama as a, a person is, an, is a, a fantastic individual, but Barack Obama as an idea uh, marks an evolutionary flashpoint for humanity.